Police Academy? Was that a spec script or was that a concept no, no, that you no, had no, developed? His or? story of Police Academy. When I finished Love Child, uh, I had just gotten divorced and um, I had two children and I had to work. I work right away. I didn't have another picture already prepared as a producer. So Laddie hired me to go up to uh, San Francisco to be the representative of the Lad Company on The Right Stuff, mm -hmm. which was shooting in San Francisco, Phil Kaufman shooting it. Mm -hmm. Now, we needed uh, to shoot the John Glenn ticker tape parade. It's all set up. I'm there at 6.30 in the morning, waiting for the, the crew to arrive. I'm waiting for the police to arrive and the whole thing. And arrives comes... Uh, a group of policemen that didn't look like the policemen that we needed for all of them for the picture. And they lined up and they lined up not, they looked funny. They really did. <laughs> so there was about 40 or 50 of them of which we could use uh, quite a few. And I asked the cadre guy who brought them with the bus, SFPD, and said, I said, excuse me, I said, this is an interesting looking group. He says, well, we have a fair employment hiring here in San Francisco, and uh, we, uh, these are police academy cadets. Uh, and the off-duty policemen are working, the, the um, regular policemen are working this, the stadium today. And so these are police cadets. I said, are these your future finest? You know? <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, frankly, he said, you know, uh, uh, we have to take them in, but we can, we can flunk them out after three weeks. I said, oh, okay. And I started thinking about it. So that night I sat down and wrote a two-page story about a group of people who don't want to get thrown out. They want to become real cops and they win the day, da 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 So next day, Gareth Wigan, who was uh, Laddie's head of production and running the right stuff too, he was super, super, super advising, came up on a weekend we had a hamburger and I said read this I'd like you to read this I know L Laddie's got a couple of more pictures on his deal and uh, he read it he says it's cute I said yeah show it to Laddie when you go back he shows it to Laddie Laddie calls me I go in after we finish the right stuff I go in and he says you know something this uh, I think this could be a funny picture how much can you make it for I said tell me and I'll make it for that price he said, make it for under five. Make it for under five. Make it for four something. Mm. I said, you got it. We've got to get a script writ written. My wife at that time knew uh, uh, Pat Proft, who had written some stuff. We got Pat Proft and Neil Israel to write the first script. Whew, boy, after two months, three months, it came back. I, I worked with him on the story and comes back. Yeah, there was some funny stuff in it, but it's it's long before our movies, hard mm -hmm. R movies, and there was a lot of stuff in that. I, oh man, I don't. And Laddie didn't respond well. I didn't respond well. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, I'm saying, whew, I'm out of business here. <laughs> I get a call from APA, the agency, that one of their agents has a, a guy by the name of U Wilson, who I didn't know the name. U Wilson has picked up the script from the desk of his agent because we had sent the script around looking for directors and thing. And even though it was a lousy script, he sent it out. And the agent calls me and says, well, there's a fellow by the name of Hugh Wilson who, who's interested, who wants to, we'll call it. So I get a call from Hugh Wilson at home. Yes. He said, uh, I read your script. I really don't like it. There's some funny stuff and it's a great premise. Uh, I said, who are you? He says, well, I created WKRP Cincinnati and I write all this stuff. And I, oh, Jesus, God, it's one of my favorite shows. Yeah. And he was the creator of it. And a, a wonderful. He says, give me the weekend. I said, you got it. Monday morning, I get the script. We shot that script. Wow. He wow. transformed that script. That's amazing. Over a weekend, because that's what television writers did. Hugh Wilson did it. We shot the picture. We shot it for under, uh, under four, three, four, four, up in um, Toronto. 
and uh, came back and we previewed the picture at Preview House, which used to be on Sunset, now it belongs to another company. That's where everybody's attached to a dial. And you sit up there with the editor, the director, and the head of the studio in a glass booth, and you hear what's going on with your picture, and you see on a dial what's going on with your picture. I don't like, I like. I don't like, I like. From the opening credits, from the opening credits, it was way up here. Mm -hmm. Opening credits, we hear the laughter. It's almost off the charts. We know we got something. The picture's over, the last scene, the needle goes zoop. Not down to the bottom, but to medium. Wow. When you do a comedy, you've got to leave, what we call it the hats, when they take their hat. <laughs> uh, you've got to leave up if yeah. you're doing a comedy. You've got to leave with something buttoned up in that comedy. Whether it's the music, the life, the whatever, outtakes, you've got to do something. And it was not. Mm. So we all sat there glum. Laddie says, let's meet in the office tomorrow morning. Let's think about it. We go to the office. We sit there. I thought about it a lot. I, 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 what can we do to button it up? What can we do? Got in the office. Before we sat down, Laddie says, I've got it. He says, we've got to reprise the best joke of the movie. Mm -hmm. Find a way. And you, Wilson, and I both looked at each other at the same time. We snapped our fingers. Reverse it. Have Gutenberg. On, you know, we, we, you, you see it, the reverse. Yeah. First, it's Lassard getting a blowjob. <laughs> Remember? And that was the biggest laugh in the movie. It built my house in the colony. That one, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one joke laugh. did. That when you came up with this concept and you got that great draft, you know, and you saw it, did you know it was going to be as phenomenal as no. it was? No. I was 50 years old, right? Mm -hmm. But when I made the movie, I was 49. And uh, when it was released, I was 50. <clears throat> I'd been in the game a long time. I made a lot of movies. Had a lot of hopes mm -hmm. with a lot of movies. I knew that I, uh, uh, I had something that was good, but I had no idea that it had, because I had never had a hit. I had never experienced mm -hmm. a hit hit. And what's curious about it was I didn't experience it here. Mm -hmm. I, I had to experience it when I was shooting Return to Oz, in London, because the picture was released then. Mm. So the night before the release, oh, by the way, uh, uh, we, we shot it and we tested it, and I was gone on the other picture when they were doing all the real tests on previous week. They booked 300 theaters, and they were going through the roof. Mm -hmm. with, with the pay, so that they knew, but they didn't let me know in London. Laddie didn't let me know what was building on the picture because something was building. And on the weekend of release, remember London's eight hours, was eight hours, I think, at that time ahead, eight or more. And uh, I decided with Matt Clark, who was in, uh, my friend, uh, was in uh, Return to Oz. He, and Matt was the actor in Return to Oz with Piper Laurie. And Matt, uh, I said, Matt, let's make a, a, a pub crawl. Mm. I said, I don't know what this picture's going to do, but I got everything riding <laughs> on it. And so we made the tour of the, the pubs. I come home, a little smashed, and I uh, said, did you get a call? She says, yeah, I got a call. I said, well, what's the figures? She said, 800 uh, something. I said, what, 800? It can't be 800 million. It can't be, it has to be 800,000. And I knew we had 1,200 theaters. That I did know. I said, Jesus Christ, the picture is tanked. So I called Laddie. I called Laddie. And I said, Laddie, uh, Sally says 800. No, he says it's going to do 8 million two this weekend. It's the biggest hit Warner Brothers has had in the spring almost ever. Oh, my goodness. He says, you'll never have to work again. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't true, but, you know... Uh, which was the beginning of, of seven of them. And seven movies. 64 half hours and 26 one hours and stunt shows all over the world. And it became an industry, but it also became a family because all of them, Michael Winslow, Steve Gutenberg, uh, you, you know, all of them, uh, Matt McCoy, Mary McCoy, Janet Gretzky, Janet Jones. I mean, through those pictures, David Graff and... Bubba Smith, 
G.W. Bailey, Lance Kinsey. The cast goes on and on and on, people that... And also we broke out some wonderful people. David Spade was in our movie. Uh, Bobcat Goldthwait, uh, first appearances in our movie. 